devalued and everything feels like utter shit and this is where um when you realize this this is where you can start to help yourself and start to heal and go through the process the healing process and the recovery process of being trauma bonded because it is not an easy thing to get out of and it is not an easy thing to cope with and deal with but you know with trauma bonding there is an element of I believe addiction to those kind of behaviors and this is where you have to remember and think back to your childhood where you have may have experienced these kind of behaviors before and you have been trauma bonded to either a parent a grandparent an uncle an auntie a brother or a sister or a friend or some kind of carer because it's, it's extreme, but at the same time, it's extremely subtle. You will not realize this until you start to come out and you move away from, and you stay away from the narcissist and you do go into no contact and the fog starts like disappearing. I'm gonna end this video because <laughs> it's been going on for a long time, but yeah, trauma bonding and things such as Stockholm, syndrome can be related where you want to protect the narcissist at some sometimes you want to protect them so it's like almost like a love-hate relationship between you and the narcissist or a love resent relationship or whatever it the case may be where it, it's so difficult to believe that somebody that could be so nice to you but they were being fake nice to you that somebody could be so nice to you could be so mean so you you you're constantly second guessing or trying to convince yourself uh, um, that they're a good person but really they're not they're only good when they can extract something from you and if they can extract some kind of reaction some sort of supply from you or anyone um, then you're benefiting you're supplying towards their supply to their fuel but not to yourself and this is why no contact is so important with a narcissist minimal con contact if you have children with them and you, you are, sp are supposed to be um well attempting to co-parent although narcissists don't co-parent although some of them probably pretend to do that as well but yeah no contact is so important and when you get out of this cloud this sort of drugged up cloud that you were in with a narcissist or a toxic person, you start uh, thinking through and going back to your past even, how you could be trauma bonded.